Let's consider strike slip faults for a moment. A strike slip fault is where one block of Earth moves relative to the other. A famous example is the San Andreas Fault in Southern California, where Los Angeles on the Pacific Plate moves to the northwest, and the rest of California, such as Oakland, is on the North American Plate. A lesser known example is the Denali Fault in Alaska. Now let's consider the instrumental era in seismology, which started in 1904. Since that time, on the continents, what's the largest earthquake that's ever occurred as a strike slip event? It's this one, 2002 Denali Fault, magnitude 7.9. This is a globally significant earthquake. Within Alaska, it occurred in a region that's sparsely populated. The Denali Fault crosses the Parks Highway in the west, crosses the Richardson Highway in the east. Well, pe most people are driving right over and past this fault. There's one other significant feature that crosses the Denali Fault in addition to the Richardson Highway. It's the Alaska Pipeline, which runs alongside the highway. This transfers oil from the Prudhoe Bay gas fields in the north, oil and gas, all the way to the terminals in southern Alaska. And when they built the pipeline, they knew that it crossed the Denali Fall. They weren't sure when the last earthquake had happened. This probably turned out to be 1912, as we learned here. And they weren't sure when the next earthquake would happen, but it looked like a really big fault. And so they built the pipeline to accommodate strike-slip lateral motion where the pipeline crossed the Denali Fall. And what we can see from the damage in the earthquake, first, it tore up the road. We can see in that photograph, we can even see a chunk of the road that was torn up right here and collected. It's kind of a rare example in a sparse place like Alaska where you have actual damage. You can pick up and say, this earthquake ripped holes in the road. You can see in the photographs, in the paper, this is a piece of the highway as the fault ripped through. The pipeline, as shown in a, in a photograph here, the pipeline was built on beams to slide back and forth. And when that earthquake happened, it sure slid back and forth. There was up to 30 feet of lateral motion at some places along this fault. And, in the, and where it crossed the pipeline, here we have an earthquake. The latest earthquake happening right now. I try not to smile when earthquakes happen, but I'm only a seismologist. So one is happening right now. The data are streaming in live and have reached the earthquake center where if we, can, if we wanted to turn around, we can sort of feature in on the details of this earthquake. Where the pipeline crosses the Denali Fault, the pipe was placed on beams. We're looking oblique, uh, directly on one of these beams, and we can see that the pipe has slid almost to the point of falling off. So it was very close. They built the pipe to withstand shaking that they thought was related to a magnitude 8 earthquake. This was a 7.9. So it's a huge engineering accomplishment that there was no major damage caused by this earthquake. And I think it's a testament to sort of building and designing based on the information, best available information from geology and seismology at that time. Most of our visitors come from outside of Alaska. And their stories that we saw in the beginning would have mentioned a lot of different earthquakes. And some of these, in the context of the Denali Fault being the largest strike slip earthquake ever recorded, other strike slip earthquakes very close to the size of this magnitude 7.9 include a 2001 Kunlun earthquake in China, 2016 Kaikoura earthquake in the South Island of New Zealand, and the 1906 famous San Francisco earthquake. Finally, don't forget the 1912 earthquake on the Denali Fault, which was witnessed by the Parker Brown Expedition Team. That earthquake was six times smaller than the 2002 Denali Fault earthquake.